one of the beauties of Connecticut is that every winter the roads get bumpier and bumpier from all the uh, all the snow and frozen cracking and stuff. And I'm pretty sure I just displayed, destroyed my splitter by hitting a bump, but it's okay. We're uh, just going through a nice early morning drive. Alberta's sleeping late, but I've been waking up early trying to get ahead on videos because I'm so behind. So uh, I'm going to Starbucks right now because it's the only place I seem to be able to focus up here. So hopefully the splitter's not bad. It just was a bad like, like, like something snapped. We're good. All right, Dad, it feels like every time I come up and visit you, I've got a different car for you to drive. Okay. What do you think about this one? You're on camera. On my camera? Yep. I think it's awesome. Yeah? yeah. What do you know about this car? Uh, it's a Porsche. Okay, what do you know about them? Um, I do know they're made in Germany. Uh -huh. They used to be, Okay. I suspect. Although nothing would surprise me anymore. Probably a Korean or a Chinese version. It, it looks like the less expensive type, isn't it? So what, what do you think it's going to feel like to drive the car? What is your anticipation? I expect it to be a little less than my prelude as far as performance, but that's okay. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay, so... That's what I expect. Alright, smart guy. You guys can see where I get my terrible sense of humor from. Alright, so I'll, I'll give you a ride first. We'll okay. just go on those roads that we normally go on and then I'll toss the keys to him. Do you want to go 100 miles an I hour? I need to go 100. I like where the handles go up. Yeah. Let me move this stuff from your seat. Jesus. <laughs> you slam your head. I wasn't over it. Yeah, it comes with these seats? Yeah, you watch your butt. Yeah, uh, a lot of the old people that buy these complain about the seats because they're pretty aggressive. Does it come with this fire extinguisher here too? Yeah, wow. well, this is how it comes. The cage I added, but uh, they actually do come in Europe with a cage. So the interesting thing about these cars and kind of the appeal of it to me is it's literally an out of the box track car that's a okay. street car. So you'll see when we drive it, yep. everything's like rock solid. So you can race with it and you can drive it on the street. Pretty much. It's a very, very rigid, bumpy car for driving around as like a street car, but it's kind of, that's the allure of it. All right, we're rolling. We're rolling. Are we live? On we're live. Live on TV, oh my God. Let's go. I can't put seatbelts on. Are we going windows down or windows up? Do you care if I roll them down? I don't care. If I get cold, I'll let you know. We don't get this type of weather in Florida, so I gotta make use of it. So you know how like automatic transmissions will usually have like a Tiptronic mode or something like that? Yes, I know So that. you can drive this like that. If you do, it will not shift for you and it will let you bounce off rev limiter. Uh, so you're welcome to do that when you drive it or if you wanna drive it in automatic, you can and it's still very good. Okay. You can also pull both paddles in. It's got like paddle shifters yep. and it'll put it in neutral. Cool. So you can use that like a clutch. Do you use regular fuel in it? Yep. It's like one of the only ones that I do. Just to confirm, you said don't go 100 miles an hour? Correct. Okay. I've got a little... Uh, warning. Not with me, at least. Well, I've got a little warning light, so it tells me when I'm going 100, so I, I won't Okay, good. Not on these streets. Not on these streets. into the seat. You did? I did. The tires in the rear are 325s. Wow. 21 inch. I mean it's fast. Probably not quite as peppy as the Prelude though. You don't think? No. What about how it handles? A little too bumpy compared to the Prelude? Eh, a little bit, but can get used to like... that. Can get used to that. Yeah. Is that your tire marks? No. Oh my god. <laughs> I would not waste these tires, they're too expensive. We just saw 500 feet of tire marks and I thought it was Adam. Okay. Okay. How fast were you going then? Not 100. No, how fast? I don't, I don't know, I'm not looking at the speedometer, look at the road. I'll let them see you driving because they know where the car is. I just want to make sure when you drive that you have a couple corners because this car is boring in a straight line. Yeah. I 
It's okay. I don't mind being boring. Boring, boring is nice. Alberta, get nervous with your driving? No. How we're driving right now is like not even 10% of the limit of the car. Uh, okay, I, I believe it handles. But it's just so laser sharp. That guy's blinking his lights. I hope there's not a cop. Okay, I believe you, Adam. I don't think I've ever seen you hold on so tight. I just don't want you to get an accident. Well, I'm ready to vomit. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, believe it or not, you know you know my friend Tommy up here with the shop, right? Yep, yep. I gave him a ride in the uh, Tennessee mountains and I literally made him puke. Yeah, I, no. I, was I had to legitimately pull over so he could puke. I'm ready. I'm just trying to find a spot I can pull you in. Does this have reverse? Yeah. If anybody wants to take my position and take the ride, I'll be happy to get out. I think it's, I just think it's so funny that I actually did make someone vomit. Yeah. That's, that's an achievement and a half right there. Is it brake on? No. That's just how it goes because it, it literally drives like as a clutch. <laughs> you and the hopping in cars and just flooring it. So what? Just, you're just funny. I'll get you nervous. Handles nice. It's not real jerky. It's it, it's what do you call it? positive, but it's not jerky jerky. You know what I mean? Yeah. It does take movement to make it really go. For a new car, it's it feels more like an older car. Like it, yeah. it feels direct. It doesn't feel mushy like some new cars do. Well, there's enough mush to make it not too too sensitive. It's just right actually. It's got the right amount of mush. Floor and then you hesitate. Well, I don't want to get too fast, yeah. so I'm not used to the car yet. No, I got you. I don't want to put the thing into the guardrail. Yeah, I appreciate that. Pretty tame, isn't it, right now, the way I'm driving? Yeah. my first time driving. I have my first time driving this. Really? Yeah. yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing. Wow. Alright, so brakes uh, on hard. Brakes on, floor. Just, but don't roll into it. Just just mat it, and then when oh, I say let go of the brake, let go of it. Pull it, pull it. Let go! Holy shit. Oh. Wow. My sunglasses flew off. <laughs> Did not go see if those guys like that? <laughs> no, I would, you, that's, you made a lot of noise. This car's loud. I just go. Before you make a bunch of enemies for me, launch my car. Unbelievably fast. My sunglasses went. Just, you probably see them in the video, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah. When you uh, go around some of these corners, you don't have to go that fast, but just kind of roll on light throttle yeah. coming out of the corners and feel how the car just kind of plants itself. As long as they're not blind corners. Yeah. I mean, it area. certainly handles better than your other car. Yeah. I mean, as far yeah. as me for normal driving. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, the other one's a R32 Skyline drift car. Well, it's just yeah. a little bit more civilized. Yeah. It's good. Getting nervous I might lose control with the wheel? No, 
it's just a good habit to keep both hands on the wheel. So if you do, I've have heard to, that before from people. But just in case, like you said, if you know there is something that pops up out in the road, you have yep. way more control than one yep. hand. Just another sports car. I've driven so much of this. this these things. Oh yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. No, you just kind of easily roll on the throttle when you come out of the corners because it will break loose. So just kind of just be nice with it. Yeah. That was nice, wasn't yeah. it? Nice, baby. Nice, nice, baby. Nice. How am I doing, folks? With Adam's car. Said, I mean, just I, don't, I don't know if he's relaxed yet. You know, we'll me. find out. Watch this. <laughs> You're literally 12. <laughs> you ever see the movie Risky Business? No. Kid puts his father's Porsche in the lake. Really? Swap on, on that real quick. You can put it in the lake for me. Yeah. What do you think of the car overall? I think it's good, you know, but I think it needs a little bit more of kind of like the Honda Freelu that I have. I, I felt that it was getting a little sluggish at around 70 on the straightaway, but other than that, it felt pretty good. They make faster ones. Yeah, well, I would certainly get a faster one than this. This one sucks. More of a, G <laughs> more of a GT2 type of guy? Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of guy I am. GT3 or GT5 60. Whatever it takes. <laughs>